Greetings, dear friends. Welcome to the meditation for the common good. We gather today in the last day of the distribution period of the Cancer Solar Festival. The first Cancer Solar Festival this year is we will have the cycle with two full moons as sun passes through the sign of cancer. Today, we start working with the topic that was synthesized from the sharing at our preparatory meeting of the custodians of the purpose of the project. Love from conflict to harmony, build an lighted house. This topic follows the flow of our work with energies of the Cardinal Cross, which can't say is a part. And in the Cardinal Cross, we work with the theme, cleaning the house of religion and politics, invoking the new leadership. And this is one of the three prerequisites for the reappearance of the Christ. And so we continue our work. Today, we will use the energies of the full moon to meditate together, invoking the vision and asking for hierarchical guidance. We will hold the attention and focus on our topic, love from conflict to harmony, building a lighted house through the next two weeks till the coming new moon. We will have opportunity to share our impressions today and then at the quarter moon meeting and at the new moon meeting, focusing the seeds that will grow into thought forms enriching the mental field of humanity. And that is the purpose of our work. And with this, I invite Birgit to sound the statement of purpose. Thank you, Alexander. Our purpose is to magnetize the ideas of common good, freedom, and brotherhood as the highest values of humanity at this time. We recognize and cherish diversity of perspectives in our group, creating a space capable of invoking, receiving, interpreting, and radiating a higher synthetic vision. We serve as an asramic outpost, building a group bridge of Buddhic energy. We evoke the soul of humanity. We envision humanity as being the seed that is flowering. We prepare the way for the reappearance of the coming one. And over to you, Tracy. Thank you, Brigitte, and welcome everyone. Um, we usually start the full moon uh, meditation meeting with uh, the 12 seat thoughts that uh, we received from our first quarter moon uh, in this cycle of cancer. From these uh, seed thoughts that our uh, group came up with at that time, uh, our topic for this cycle was created. 
So at this time, I'd like to uh, go ahead and uh, cite the 12 seed thoughts that we received. First seed thought. As love pours into humanity, supporting the common good, new leaders and new systems will be birthed. Number two, humanity and all kingdoms will rise out of the conflicts that exist as new forms of religion and political leadership are co-created in harmonic love wisdom. <laughs> Number three, we build the bridge as we refine our vision toward that which is becoming now. Number four, the receptive triangle in Taurus, or the Christ, Manu, the Mahachohan, begins to build this new lighted house in Cancer. Number five, we continue to look to hierarchy and Christ to guide us onward to our lighted house. Number six, love to all beings, north, south, east, and west, above, below, without, within, love to all beings. Number seven, see always. Number eight, conflicts as the agent of harmony help humanity to build a lighted house. Number nine, the purpose of our group meditation is an act of cooperation with the plan of hierarchy for humanity. Our group unit unanimity of effort bring about a pooling of spiritual resources and a united spiritual effort. Number 10, renewal, maintaining connection with the essence within the form. Number 11, we are evolving from mass governance to self-governance. With religion, we are evolving from group religions to self-revelation. And number 12, will to create. Love that prepares the matter for transformation. At this time, I will turn us over to Katya, who will be focalizing for us throughout the cycle of cancer. And it's much appreciated, all who volunteered to do this. So thank you, Katya. Over to you. Thank you, Tracy. And uh, thank you all. It does seem like this moment of dual full moon in a sign is a great opportunity. So as we will meditate, let us hold it 
in our consciousness, group consciousness, the importance of that fact <clears throat> that we are given extra help. So love from conflict to harmony, building a lighted house. Let us get united with energies of light and love and will to good. Let us hear each other's silence and the silence of the group. And in that silence, let us see group chalice. Open to the high impression and help. And let us invoke all that will guide and support the common good of humanity and our planet at this time. Strengthen our intention to be of service. assisting human and planetary life. And support our activity as we focus together as a group, preparing to receive the higher thoughts, impressions and energies. that we hold for distribution during the time of a of new moon. Group centers. Group being group in Takarana. Connecting with the hierarchy. Protective triangle. Shambhala hierarchy and humanity. The energy of cancer. And silent receptivity. The hierarchical energies, ideas, and impressions.
as we look deeper into the energies that are potent now. And the sign of cancer. With the energies that come through the great being that we call Neptune. Veiled by the moon and direct. The energies are the highest possible points of the sixth ray. Also third ray. For the ray triangles of cancer and the sun. There's also great presence of the energy of Neptune being in the last degree of Pisces. Holding this cycle being closed with the old being open to the new. In 2026, Neptune will move into Aries. But now we have the time. Look back. Release and renew. The keynote, I build the lighted house, and there I not dwell. Two gates of Cancer and Capricorn, gates of incarnation. Gates of coming into manifestation and tread the path of initiation until it's reached its peak in Capricorn. The heights and the depths. Deep connection with the matter. oldest serving energy whatever Aryan air energy sees as the worth manifestation cancer manifests mass consciousness that's now being shifted
Townsend, EO, and Digital Consciousness, and Group Consciousness, Aquarius. And then those energies will look again. Flow. From conflict to harmony. Building a lighted house. And questions for contemplation. Renewal. Maintaining connection with the essence within the form. What are our methods? And how can we evolve them? Second question. Conflict is the agent of harmony. Help humanity to build a lighted house. How do we work with karma? The conflict between the old and the new. As we harmonize and spiritualize our matter.
third question. What is essential in our relationship with the form? How can we raise its vibration through love? Now let's return. And allow the impressions from our contemplation to take form as words, pictures, symbols, sounds, or color.
Keep receiving in silence for a few more minutes. direct our impressions into the group heart, feeling our chalice and vitalizing it with radiant light. Revealing its beauty and wisdom. We direct the group light upward to the hierarchy. and await the blessings upon it and clarifications. Realizing our invocation, today we witness its radiance pouring downward from the our chalice into the lower planes, stimulating all receptive hearts and minds. And proud in our work and the energies we have involved today. Let us sound the great invocation from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the human hearts. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call humanity, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Mm. 
And let us close our work today as we identify with the soul in all and apply our efforts to be in accordance with the divine will. We now send forth the results of our efforts, thoughts, love, and the energy of our group work to help our earth in all its diversity and ultimate unity through transformational journey into the sacred. We do this through focused direction of energy from our group Ajna, sending the light out to high beings, to other spiritual groups, to the soul of humanity, and to all sentient beings, as as we assist the forces of light. Thank you, Katya. Thank you, everyone. Let's hold just a few more moments in silence and give ourselves time to write down any impressions that we've been receiving through this meditation and since the first quarter moon. Also, our Community Impressions Board is now available uh, on our 2025 initiative.org website and we can continue to share our impressions over the next couple weeks uh, on that community impressions board as we prepare for the evocation um, at the time of the new moon. So just a couple more moments here. Just letting everyone know that Alexander has al always uh, puts in the Community Impressions Board link in our chat on our Zoom meeting here. So you can also find the, the link to the 
Community Impressions Board if you click onto the chat right now. Thank you, everyone. Um, it's time now that we open up to our group sharing of the impressions that we've been receiving or anything we'd like to share that is coming in uh, during this cycle uh, that we've received thus far or we've read about or come across. Um, so let's open up the... Uh, to the group sharing now, um, just unmute yourself when you're ready to speak and, um, you know, maybe give a moment or two between uh, people speaking so that we can take in everything that was said um, from the person who just spoke. So let's begin.
I mean, it is interesting. It's the aspect of the form. How does this, you know, human form, what is the essence of it? How do we be in that living form? Create and relate to other forms of the lower kingdoms. And just remember our purpose. Why? We are here. And to me, the energy of love brings an enormous potency. You need to constantly renew the form just to hold it to be able to hold and radiate it outward improving ourselves as a sources of light and love and power. And how will the old methods that are, do not serve anymore, how we being captivated by them. Almost like exploited by them as a form. until the moment when the living part takes charge, the soul. It seems very simple and well known, but you know, day by day, sometimes it is very hard to obtain that goal. So, how do we help each other ourselves? Loving and releasing the old methods. And second thought that this presence of Neptunian energy, it's sensitivity, sensitivity, that is essential. I think that Saturn will play a big role in Cancer, but yet it is in Capricorn. So the depths are the Great one of the greatest helps, you know, there is the ever growing sensitivity that allows us to distinguish between lower and high vibration, lower and high note, to see the range and shift within that range step by step, step by step. Thank you. Over. Hearing you, Katya, then with all the, the three questions, there were a few words that kept coming up and how to, a possibility of how to do these things. And it seemed to be determination acceptance, flexibility, 
patience and kindness. And it just, with every question, it was sort of reverts back to all these roots. That's it. Thank you. Thinking, oh, sorry, sorry. I am thinking that the form is a deva, and we are going to connect better uh, with the deva within the form, um, with uh, love and kindness and forgiveness and uh, what you said, Kiki. Um, thank you. Uh, I've just written a few things um, for the first one. I've put uh, meditation with sincerity and resolve and to maintain the group work, which are things I really that have already been said, I suppose. And two, we learn by our mistakes. So conflict helps us learn and not to do the same thing again. And we must always be prepared to sort of move forward and not keep hanging on to the past and for the third i've got that the soul govern uh, we've got to make sure that the soul governs the form and leads the form because the soul is love to be used to govern the form to make sure we will move in the right way In cancer, uh, we are told that uh, substance or form is made up of dark matter and that it awaits the infusion of soul light um, to become itself lighted. Uh, so I looked at that as a, a premise for starting. And I also thought about different levels of forms. There's my own form. Uh, with my various vehicles. There's the form of the nation I live in, my government. There's um, the form of uh, world government, if you will, and direction. There's the form of the groups that I'm part of. Um, so it becomes in some ways uh, a more complex uh, level when I look at bringing light to form. Um, so I think we certainly need to know thyself. That's uh, the big quote and uh, that in all of its uh, meaning. So know yourself in terms of your astrology, what uh, you bring that are strengths, what you bring to life that are challenges from our past, from our karma. Um, 
knowing what we have within our own systems to support uh, those areas of challenge, uh, knowing how to stand as the trained observer outside of ourselves looking in. So use, using love to love ourselves, but also using wisdom. Um, we need to be able to set intentions. And then in some ways we do this for all the other levels uh, that we're involved with in terms of form as well. Um, so uh, again, it is a little bit different for each form that we try to light and uh, solarize, energize. But uh, I think those techniques uh, hold true. I think um, having the desire um, to want to be soul infused. And then um, no matter what it is with our government, with someone to look critically without judgment, but look at where we stand so that we can uh, look at those things that uh, need to be supported and those things that need to be let go of. Thank you. Yeah, um, for question one, um, renewal and maintaining connections within the form, um, what methods and how can we evolve them? I think one of the things um, is that we need to uh, note or make realize that we are all connected, for one thing. So we are a part of the forms that are being created. Um, and just recognizing that we're not on the outside, but we're right within everything, the, the, the weaving and the fabric of um, all that is in form. Um, and because of the level of consciousness we have at this point, we can realize that we can observe the forms around us um, or the way things are coming in and being formed or the forms that are being dissolved or uh, transmuted um, energy is, you know, it never is destroyed. It's just, um, you know, it just changes. So just being and observing the changes that are occurring and at what level of vibration uh, we talk about love. Love is a high vibrational um, medium through which all these forms and changes occur. Um, so just number one, being aware of where we stand within the forms and observing around us, um, above, below, you know, east, west, north, south, and all that, um, within, without, um, I think that is, that's how we can, um, that would be our method of how we would evolve the different forms because energy follows thought and we, our mental uh, creations at this point, we're 
stimulating the mental bodies of everything that is within everything within and without um for question two conflicts as the agent of harmony help humanity to build a lighted house how do we work with karma conflict between old and new as we harmonize and spiritualize our matter how do we work with the karma and conflict between old and new and to me humanity is very unique um, in all the kingdoms and in, in, in that we have that or not just all the kingdoms because on earth I think a lot of the kingdoms do have this ability and, and the word I'm looking for is adapting. We're very adaptable. I think in our solar system that's what makes us so unique is our ability to adapt and how do we adapt? through the karma, the, through the conflict, trying to create that balance. And, and that's through nature. Nature is always trying to create that balance and that harmonizing. And again, doing this at a higher vibratory level of observation and mental acuity and mental um, body work in the mental, higher mental forms, creating new forms in that respect. And um, let's see, what is essential in our relationship with form? How can we raise its vibration through love? I think just realizing that we're connected to all things and that love is the medium, the glue that's holding everything together. Um, so, uh, and the color that I received was a blue-green. So, thank you. I think, Tracy, when you spoke the last statement that you made about um, raising the the level of vibration, um, it, it brought to mind the fact that uh, when we work as group, uh, we are so much stronger than when we work as individuals. And yes, we are all connected, but I think uh, when we can hold the field consciously uh, to support that connection, then what we can bring um, as a way to lift matter, if you will, um, by doing it in group formation is uh, so much more effective, let's put it that way, than if we try to do it ourselves. So uh, understanding that the soul is group conscious and being able to um, hold that uh, as we work to love and lift. Thank you.
Another thought that came was so that the essence and the form also is deeply related with the purpose of the form. And I think that humanity as you know, as we were learning how to build different form for different purposes. In our so to speak, earthly environment. We build the forms that are completely natural to water, to air, to earth. We use fire to create forms, temperatures, fires. But I think when we stepped out, because it's still earthbound, right? Those laws. But when uh, humanity decided to go beyond the planet, the absolutely new forms had to be built. And my mom was part of this big work with the qualities of metals, because when you want to build a spacecraft, the laws that are going to be affecting it are going to be very different. And uh, the temperatures and the processes, it's, they needed to study the qualities of the matter. And a group of crystallographers and physicists and chemists. They were studying the qualities, how they would behave outside the earth conditions. And that's how we can fly into the cosmos. You know, that's how we do our work there, our research work as well. And in a way, I think that it's capacity to build a totally new that comes with the light of the soul, which is essentially the light of the monad, which is essentially the light of the one. It's kind of step by step going into something totally different. And that is expansion. And on a personal level, it's um, I don't know how how we experience the presence of the soul. I notice that you know sometimes it comes as people you would think would say something if think would do something very usual for them. Not even logical, but kind of native to them. All of a sudden, do something completely out of the bounds of their inner planet. And that's how uh, I see that this is already not the method of the personality, but the method of the soul. Very much would love if we could like exchange those visions and impressions of the soul presence. How do we see that? How do we know that? In a group, individually, in humanity.
thinking what what we are doing or trying to do is to um, uh, get more and more light uh, into the matter. Um, we are told that when you take the, the first initiation, you have a 25% of um, um, of the first subplanes, the the uh, um, atomic matter, if you can call it that, and when you take the second initiation, you have fifty percent. The third initiation, you have seventy five, and the fourth. Uh, you have the one hundred percent, and therefore you don't need your physical body anymore. Um, so what we are doing essentially is building a light of house, <laughs> um, getting more and more light into the matter, so that we easier uh, can see the soul light uh, shines through all conflicts and so that we are easier uh, to it, it is easier to um to uh, um solve karma um without getting involved in the conflicts but more and more um see the wisdom through through the 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 matter that we we are the the light is shining more and more through uh, the dense matter if that makes sense thank you
all of a sudden another <clears> thought <throat> came that um, when we talk about spiritualizing the matter, we have a opposing process, which is materializing in the spirit. From, from whence comes spiritual materialism, which is a very strange phenomena, but uh, still, it exists. And out of this two conflicting processes, right, comes harmony of the next level. So to me, it is it's interesting point how when our methods of spiritual spiritualizing that don't work end up materializing the spirit. Trying to get um, to create a convenient forms out of it. That serves the purpose of oh. purpose of no change. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, thinking about what you said, um, spiritualizing matter, um, you know, all that's available is there all the time, and we just need to recognize it and work with it. And as Judy mentioned earlier, the, the group intention and group mind focus is important. And when you were talking just now, Katya, it got me to thinking of Emoto's um, water experiment, Um where he put intentions into the water, uh, love, hate, um, peace, that type of thing. And the water molecules changed. I'm sure all of you are probably aware of, of that since it was quite a while ago. But um, that is, to me, spiritualizing the matter also. And as we do it as a group with that specific intention together and focus through Ajna and that, wow, what big changes can happen so quickly, just as it did when Dr. Emoto put the intention that he had into the glass of water that he was taking the pictures of, or the molecules of water that he was taking pictures of. It That change happens just instantaneously. Um, and I don't, you know, we're so used to that old, or I am, you know, kind of embedded in that Piscean age, old, it takes a long time for things to come about. It doesn't anymore. It can Sometimes. be changed in an instant. So, um, yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Also, um, we're coming to the end of our sharing. And uh, so if there's anybody that wishes to add anything to today's topic or discussion, uh, please feel free to do it now. Thank you. Just one more thought. Oh. Change is instantaneous, but uh, manifestation of that change, manifestation of that change in the matter, takes time. Takes you know time. So we're working now with the energy that actually is um, guiding manifestation in the matter, and all this. Uh, change of speed of this manifestation 
as a change of the subplane from astral to mental, it, 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 it is also, it, it also can be requested as we work with the sedentary in cancer. Thank you. Thank you, Katya. That was a very valid point. I'm so glad you brought that up and said that because mental thoughts are instantaneous. The astral emotional takes a little bit longer and then coming into the physical. So yeah, very important. Good observation. Thank you. We, we we also have to uh, be aware of the big uh, thought forms, um, the thought, thought forms that many people have thought are very powerful and therefore also uh, difficult to, to change. Thank you. Yep, very true. Yeah, that's exactly those thought forms, big thought forms are called methods, which is a, I think, karmic element of the mental plane, subplane on the mental plane. Things that were done forever like that in this enormous thought form that supports this movement, you know, it's really takes a lot to change. At, and it has to be the group work. Yeah, absolutely. I keep thinking um, Alice Bailey said that World War III was going to be fought in the clouds, meaning probably the mental plane. So yeah, to try and, you know, the, the forces of evil are working on the, the minds of people now. You know, they used to work on the emotions. They still do that, but uh, they're trying to put mental images in people's minds and that type of thing. So yes, absolutely. We see some of it uh, on the internet. These uh, trolls, these um, um, computer uh, generalized um, um, circuits of uh, thought forms um, that can be used to generate. Um, um bad uh, stuff uh, from uh, for for elections and other things um that's that's uh, what we are going to be more aware of and um um artificial uh, intelligence uh, that are with no emotions and no uh, logic, no no um, human uh, sensitivity, um, but also I think it's uh, it it's nice to know that we are uh, approaching the Aquarian age where um, we have to learn about magic. And there, uh, uh, things can change more rapidly uh, uh, without um, necessarily to be logic uh, by the seventh ray. Thank you. Yes, and... That's why the group work is so important and coming from the heart center or the buddhic plane because those higher planes um, enlarge 
groups that are doing positive work um, with the forces of light really help. Uh, that's what's going to get us over that hump, I think. Um, well, thank you, everybody, for sharing today. Um, we can continue sharing our impressions, like I said um, earlier, uh, on the Community Impressions Board. Um, we will continue our conversation at the last quarter moon. Um, the meeting will be held Friday, June 28th. And our date set for the new moon um, webinar is Friday, July 5th. So hopefully everybody will be able to attend. Um, thank you everyone for coming today. Uh, would anybody like to do a brief closing for us? We know, O oh Lord, of life and love, about the need. Touch our hearts anew with love, so that we too may love and give. Oh.